Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand selection sort algorithm analysis efficiency. So the concept of selection sort, so how the selection sort works and what is the algorithm of the selection sort has already been discussed in our data structures course, which is the prerequisite for this course. If you haven't watched the, those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class we'll try to analyze the selection sort algorithm so what is the efficiency of this selection sort algorithm that we will try to understand so let's try to analyze each and every step and the step count for each and every step of the algorithm so that itself is the efficiency so for example if you take this line of code and this line of code uh, will get executed n number of times how can i say that it is going to execute n number of times as we have already discussed that the loop uh, will execute the the num the conditional statement in the loop will get executed n plus one number of times but here here we, we are having zero to n minus two for example if you take this uh, array this array is having five elements uh, n minus two zero to n minus two means it is going n minus two means it is uh, three 5 minus 2 which is 3 0 to 3 0 to 3 means n minus 1 number of comparisons are done so because this is 0 we got this uh, uh, n minus 2 and uh, n minus 1 comparisons are done and one more comparison is to come out of this for loop so where the condition is going to fail so adding that it, it becomes n number of comparisons try to get this point this point is very important to understand so whenever we come into this loop this is going to execute n minus 1 number of times n minus 1 number of times and what about this for loop this for loop is going to be executed n number of times okay so now uh, uh, it is not just n number of times every time we come into this loop this loop will iterate and we will try to analyze this this part of the algorithm so this part of the algorithm is very important for us to understand the behavior of the algorithm just like that we cannot say that it is going to iterate for n number of times but it is going to vary from uh, uh, one input to another input so as the i value changes the number of iterations that are done by this for loop will change so how those changes will be that we will try to understand in detailed so we'll take three different cases one is worst case the next one is average case and this one is the best case worst case means the elements are arranged in the reverse order so the order in which we would like to arrange the elements uh, for that order so we are going to arrange the elements in the increasing order for that order the order in the array is going to be in the reverse order so it is going to be in the decreasing order so to to get this input into sorted order in the increasing order it is going to take lot amount of time so this is what this is what we call it as worst case and the average case means in this some of the inputs were already there in the in their position so they know they don't need to be sorted some of the elements are not in the sorted order so this is what we call it as average case and the next one is best case best case means we want the we want the elements to be in the increasing order and the elements are already there in the sorted order so this is the best case scenario so we'll try to analyze each and every case at each and every case how this for loop is going to behave that we will try to understand in detail and this part of the algorithm is very very important for you to understand uh, how we are going to analyze the algorithm so let's try to analyze this with the worst case uh, worst case scenario in the worst case scenario how the things will work so for example if you uh, if you come with the value of i is equal to 0 with the value of i is equal to 0 this one is going to iterate from i plus 1 to n see here in this case we are going to iterate from i plus 1 to n i plus 1 to 1 n means these these values we are going to compare so you will get clear idea if you have the uh, if you have uh, if you know clearly about the selection sort algorithm which we have discussed about uh, about this in the data structures course okay so uh, in the first iteration where the value of i is equal to 0 this for loop is going to iterate for n minus 1 time n minus 1 time in the second iteration where the value of i is equal to 1 
means here where the value of i is equal to 1 this part of the this this these number of uh, elements will get uh, these many number of iterations are done this is going to iterate from i plus 1 to n i plus 1 means 1 plus 1 which is 2 from here to n so three comparisons are done in this case in the in the uh, n value it is going to be n minus n minus two comparisons are done similarly so on so on uh, when the value of i is equal to n minus 2 value of i is equal to n minus 2 means here where we are here n minus 2 means it is 3 in the last element uh, iteration in the last elements iteration this is going to iterate for only one time see here this loop is going to iterate only for one time and this is done for any case it may be worst case it may be best case or it may be uh, uh, average case so every time this loop behavior is going to be the same is going to be the same in the later coming algorithms like bubble sort and insertion sort the things are going to be little different so for this case for the selection sort the very important point that you have to understand is it may be in the worst case or it may be in the average case or it may be in the best case this loop is going to iterate these many number of times so how many number of times how many number of times is it is sum of n natural numbers sum of n minus one natural numbers here one two n minus 1 n minus 1 natural numbers means it is sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 and if you substitute n minus 1 in the place of n it is going to be n into n minus 1 by 2 and if you expand this the higher order term that we are going to get so in the efficiency always we are going to consider the higher order term order of growth the higher order term is quadratic expression we are going to get and in this expression if you expand this the higher order term that we are going to get is n square so uh, for this for this for loop so the uh, the number of uh, the number of iterations that are done, the number of comparisons that are done is n square okay and what about this swapping this swapping is going to iterate for n times if you sum up all these things n n minus 1 n square n minus 1 so the thing is the very important point is you have to consider only we have to consider only uh, higher order term so the sum of all these uh, all these uh, step counts let's try to do that it is n plus n minus minus 1 plus and here it is another uh, uh, n plus n minus 1 plus this is uh, n square plus n minus 1 so how many times and these terms will also get executed so this this one will get will, will also get executed so on a whole so this is going to get executed for n minus n square so the average so the uh, efficiency of this algorithm so whatever the lower order terms they may be they are discarded they are negligible so we are going to consider only n square and the asymptotic notation is theta why theta why theta because whatever may be the input the point that you have to understand is whatever may be the input it may be in the worst case it may be average case means some of the elements are already there in the sorted order or it may be the best case already the elements are in the sorted order it may be whatever may be the input it is always going to iterate n, n square number of times n square number of times see here so it, it may be in the best case this loop is going to iterate for n square number of times it is not going to skip not even a single step so not even a single step is getting skipped here so every time every time we come into this loop this will iterate uh, according to the value of i this will iterate those many number of times it may be n minus 1 it may be n minus 2 n minus 3 or n minus 4 or even 1 so every time it is going to iterate these many number of times it is going to be the it is going to be uh, these many number of steps are going to be executed whatever may be the case it may be the worst case it may be the average case and it may be the best case i am repeating this this part of the program again and again because this is the point that you you should understand so to understand this point watch this video this part of the video as many times as possible until you get the clarity okay so the efficiency of the algorithm of the selection sort algorithm is theta of n square theta of n square it may be for worst case it may be for average case and it may be for 
best case so this is all about uh, selection selection sort analysis hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching